My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Sky in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Good morning, it is another beautiful sunny day, clear blue skies, it's about six degrees at the moment and Elizabeth has to go back to the ceramics factory in Vietri to pick up some stuff and I'm going with her again, this is the third time that we've gone together and we're going to stop off somewhere along the coast on the way back, possibly Chitara or Erkia. Um, but I'm also curious to have a look now in the ceramics factory to see if I can find any tiles that I would put in my kitchen if I'm going to redo the kitchen. Oh, that's bright. I've left poor Holly at home. She'll have to make do with Sky while Sky is studying today. And Carlo is somewhere down there at work. at the bar that we always go to and somebody needs breakfast. So Cornetto this way. <laughs> Let's go. It's such a lovely day today. <laughs> this little bar is um, halfway between Positano and Amalfi. It's at a little crossroads here where you can go up into the hill towns or you can go to Amalfi this way or Positano and Priana that way. In the mornings, it has some of the best pastries that I've tried along the coast. And at lunchtime, they do mini pizzas, which are perfect for lunch because for me, a whole pizza, the only time I've ever eaten a whole pizza in my life was when I was pregnant. I can never finish one. But here they do half-size pizzas and they make them fresh. So if you get here about one o'clock, there's all these beautiful fresh pizzas to eat. And the view from the restaurant above is to die for. This is the view. If you want to sit down and eat your little pizzas upstairs, it's a sheer drop. Let me show you better. miscommunication uh, we're not going to the tile factory in Vietri today um, apparently they might not be open at the moment so we are going to Chetara and we're going to have a wander around and explore and take you with us Okay, so that was my misunderstanding. We are just having a day out. That's what we're doing today. And we have now arrived in Chitara. Chitara is mainly a fishing town. As you can see, there's lots of fishing boats here, lots of nets piled up, and one of the main things they fish for are alishi, which are anchovies. Alishi is the Italian word for anchovies, and here in Cittara they produce a anchovy... How would you describe it? Juice? Liquid juice, juice like a, an, a, a concentrated anchovy juice in little bottles, which flavors a lot of food. And um, I'll see if we can find some in some shops and we'll show you. So we found these guys that are all mending their fishing nets in the square here. It's absolutely fascinating. 
These ones are attaching this big blue rope to the edge of one of the nets. And over here, it looks like they're attaching two nets together. Da chi l'hai imparato? Eh beh, me di famiglia. Ah, ok. Questa è famiglia tua? No, no, no. Io sono un dipendente qua. E tutta la tua vita l'hai fatto? Sì, vabbè, eh io ho 30 anni. Non è che sono. <ride> e quando hai cominciato? No, vabbè, ho studiato, mi sono diplomato e poi... Che hai studiato? Il nautico. Ah, ok. Ah, dove? Giù a Salerno. A Salerno? Sì, sì. sì. Mi sono diplomato e poi sono venuto in mare. È bello. L'importanza è che si lavora. Tu sei di Cetara? Sì, sì. Ma l'importanza è che si lavora. Sì, è che ti piace. Ah, sì, Perché sì. se ti piace ah, non sì. ne lavoro. Sì, sì. Non Giusto? ti pesa. Non ti pesa. Eh. E alla fine con questo... Scusa, perché io Pes non so niente. No, facciamo la pesca delle acciughe. Sì, questo Ah. Ma sono tutti i tipi diversi, no? No, 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 e questo è tutta una rete che va in mano. Questa è tutta a terra, è tutta... Tutta una? Sì. Ah. È diverso perché a Positano non c'è. No, ma se la andiamo ad acciughe, con questa qua. Con le lampade. Sì, 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 quello che si vede. Sì, sì. Sì. Questo è il Radetzky Marsh e stanno suonando per me. <laughs> It's a marching band. Let's go and find out what's happening. My own funeral. So it's actually a funeral. It's not what we expected. We thought it was some saint's day or some happy occasion. Funerals here in Italy are quite casual events. People don't dress up for them. And normally the whole town will come out and just stand around like you can see people here and just send their last salutes to whoever has passed away. I'm wondering whether it's somebody from the band. I think he was maybe a member. Yeah. Or he was somebody from the military because the music they play is very yeah, it's uh, a yeah. Radetzky Marsh, it's very yeah. military and it's very... But there's a lot of people music. here, yeah. We are walking up the main street on the hunt for Colatura di Alici. We can't find it anywhere, everything is closed. I think a lot of places closed in respect for the funeral and they haven't quite reopened yet. So we're just taking a wander up into town. Quello è un patino. No, questo è un patino, non è un pesto. Ah, ok. Ok, so we are here in the little shop of Delfino. Finally we found a little shop open where we can show you the typical product. The product is called Colatura di Alici, which means uh, anchovy sauce. Um, we asked how, um, how they make it, so they make everything with anchovies. Um, and they use like a little basket, a wooden basket, and put in the okay. one level yeah, of um, uh, alici, of anchovy, and then they put uh, salt on it. And then again, anchovy and then salt. Until this basket is full and they put a weight on it and leave it like one year, until one and a half years, incredible, uh, in this basket, um, getting uh, ready. And um, then make like a little hole uh, on the bottom and then that, uh, the liquid drops one uh, drop after each other. 
drops down and they get uh, this um, collatura. They have to filter it logically and then they put it in the bottles. Uh, so what can you use this colatura di alici for? It is a great flavoring for sauces. You know in the way that you might use a Thai fish sauce? You can use it the same way. You can use it to flavor vegetables or uh, one of the local classic recipes is spaghetti with colatura di alici where you can use oil, olive oil, pepperoncino and some spoonfuls of the alici sauce and it makes a very very flavorful pasta sauce and there is also a pesto here which is a pesto of anchovies i'm gonna get one of these because i think carla might quite enjoy this and you would use this in the same way as you as you would use any other pesto that may look small on camera that is a four kilo jar of tuna in olive oil a little bit of shopping here we've got some pesto We've got some ricciola pate. Ricciola is like a white tuna fish and some stuffed peppers. These look amazing. Some colatura di alice. What's there in the back? What have I bought? Pate. A spicy pate of anchovies. ritrosa. <laughs> And as you may notice, the church dome in Chitara is very similar to one in Positano. It's almost identical. What was your favourite part of Chitara? <laughs> um, the beach, because it's really nice. And um, it's very, it's tiny, it's, it's cute. And it's busy compared to Positano. There's people out, there's loads of people mending fishing nets and there's fishermen doing things and there's lots of people around. It's, it's a nice little town. I think I could live here. It would be <laughs> also nice to come here by boat. Yes. So if you, for example, book a tour along the Amalfi coast with a private little boat, you can also could choose to have a lunch here in Cetara and try the Colatura di Alici. Yeah. So don't forget Elizabeth has <laughs> blue star boats. Is this la macchina? No la. Ah. No la. No. Okay. And Ellie's boat company does just that. So if you did want to have a boat trip to Chitara, she's the one to get hold of. So we're now back at the car. We're going to make our way slowly back to Positano, but we are stopping off because if you saw my second last video, there was a new baby goat arrival and there is another one. There is a new baby in town. I'm baby gold grandma. Yep. And there's another one on the way as well. Yes. So we're going to go and check on the babies. Premature, which is a lot because um, goats, mini goats, have a pregnancy of five uh, months. Yeah, and he's so tiny compared to um, Fiocco. <laughs> this is Equina. Look how tiny he is. He's so sweet. Thank you, beautiful. You want mummy? I can fit him in one hand. If I squish up his legs. Oh, they were squishable yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Look at that mimosa tree. Beautiful. So I'm going to make a quick lunch with some spaghetti and this that I bought in Cittara, the pesto cetarese with colatura di alici. So basically it has uh, anchovies, almonds, pine nuts, walnuts, black olives, green olives, capers, 
extra virgin olive oil, parsley, basil, oregano, chili pepper, and salt. So you just need that with some spaghetti, maybe add an extra bit of oil and some pasta water, and that's a very easy lunch.